What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. We got a video today. Today we've got a super de duper extremely exciting video today for you today. Every single neuron in your brain will be firing while watching this video today. That's how flippin' exciting it is. So let's get ready. No, 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 not really. Um, but we do have some stuff going on with the S10 today, getting some progress done. Uh, I've got a few clips that I didn't include in the last video, um, doing the brakes, the Corvette brakes on the S10, which if you haven't seen that, check that video out. It's a pretty good one, man. It's a pretty good one. Um, but we're going to have a couple clips of that, of getting the lines finished up and bleeding them, as well as we're going to start plumbing the fuel for the big old nasty small block Chevy today. So that'll be fun. That'll be pretty exciting, right? Yeah? Maybe. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Into the video. Guys. Okay, so my frame is hideously dirty right now, but um, we got the brake line plumbed to this uh, S10 block there. And I used Corvette lines coming off of the calipers. So, those are a I believe those are the bubble flare. Corvette lines are a bubble flare type, and the S10 is an inverted flare. So what we did was we bought bubble flare line. Um, so that goes right into the Corvette line. And then we chopped off the end where we measured it and all that, and flared it for the regular S10, uh, the inverted flare. So it should work properly. Now we just gotta do the other side. And I'll show you guys the process on that one because um, it's really simple and uh, quick and easy and anyways so yeah so it essentially has Corvette brakes on it just need to get that other line done and bleed them and it's got C5 Corvette brakes on it so yeah I'm super super stoked about that that is gonna be freaking awesome I hope it puts me through the windshield when I hit the brakes anyways all right both side brake lines are done or now I am bench bleeding the master and then going to bleed the actual brakes. Basically how we made the brake lines was we took a coat hanger, plastic coat hanger, and just bent it to shape uh, on the frame to match it. And then we and then we went ahead and bent the lines to match that. And they all work. So Hopefully by the end of the day, the truck will have functioning Corvette brakes on it. So yeah, yeah. All right, this is the setup for how I'm trying to bench bleed the master. We've got plastic fittings in either side with a clear hose connected to the two with zip ties on them so they don't blow out. We've got newspaper and rags underneath here so that hopefully there's no fluid that gets onto my frame or anything else. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is how we're gonna try and bench bleed the master. And then after that's done, we'll put the lines back in and bleed the actual brakes. So here we go. Okay, got the reservoir cleaned out a little bit. Now I'm gonna bleed them. Look at all that crap floating. All right, so put fluid in the master, in the reservoir, and there was a bunch of floaty crap, and it just doesn't look good. So what I'm doing is flushing it into this old apple juice uh, container. Just got both the lines going into the container. And as you can see, pretty dark, pretty nasty fluid coming out. So I might flush it a couple times till it's actually clean, then bench bleed it, and then bleed the brakes. So it's a process, but it's worth it to get it right. Cause that is pretty dark nasty stuff so just got it set up like that and coming into the interior hitting the brakes and see fluid is being pushed into the container and out of the reservoir so probably do this a couple times and it should be good Okay, so I've got it flushed. So now I've got the two lines connected. 
and make sure the fittings are tight, of course. And then now we're going to bench bleed the master cylinder. So I'm gonna put fluid in here and pressurize it, get all the air out, and then we will be able to hook up the actual lines and bleed the brakes. Okay, now I'm gonna flush out the rear brakes because they're all the old lines. So I've got it hooked up on the bleeder into the bottle. Uh, I'm gonna crack it and I guess gravity will do the rest, hopefully. So here we go. Okay, we got fluid coming out now, slowly, but it's going. Looks pretty clean actually, so might not have to flush flush crazy. Flush them like crazy, but here we go. So we're just gonna flush this for a minute, check the master, make sure I'm not bleeding it dry. And yeah, we should be good to go. You holding? Okay. There's no bubbles. Yep. Do it again. Yep. Okay. okay. I see bubbles. Okay. All right, that was it for the brake section of this video. So let's move on to the plumbing the fuel section of this video. Are you? What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be plumbing fuel for the S10, which is right in front of me here. Um, gonna be running from the fuel pump uh, to the regulator on the firewall and then up into the carburetor uh, from there. So. All right, got the truck jacked up a little bit, not a lot. Um, kind of hard to do with these with the frame here, but it's probably at factory height. So, anyways, got the three eighths aluminum line, and gonna start running it from the fuel pump, which you can't see all the way forwards, and getting it done. And then that's pretty much it, dude. Let's see, we got. Fuel line and fittings, um, regulator, which will go along with the fuel line. Um, this is mostly simple stuff. Um, some of it is a little bit time consuming, but we don't have that much left to get this thing running. So, uh, pretty exciting. So I'm gonna just unravel this coil here on the line, and start bending it and running it forwards and trying to make it work. So here we go. All right, so what I'm kind of thinking to do is have the line come out here 90, and maybe if I can get it to go behind this brace right here, and then behind the shock bracket right here on both sides. There's a, hole, there's a little bit of a hole uh, behind the bracket on either side. Um, so I'm thinking uh, hopefully the 3 8 line will fit through that. Um, so send it through there then send it through the open part of the frame. And then when the frame is closed, boxed in. So where the frame is closed, I'll probably pull, or I'll probably have it run out and then run on top of the frame and then up to the firewall. So um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm gonna unroll the whole thing so I can kind of gauge it properly and see if that might be something that I can pull off. Um, if not, I might have to run it over the shock tower bracket here over up over this thing and then do go through the frame um but we'll see we'll see all right so for anybody curious wondering what fuel pump i'm running on this thing it is a summit brand external pump and i think it's kind of like a rip off of the like holly blue pump i believe is what it is um and it is an external pump which means it's one of the ones that goes So yes, those things are incredibly loud. But with that said, let's go ahead and get back to plumbing some fuel. All right, plan B. So the line didn't really, I mean, it kind of fit behind the bracket, but it's really tight. Thought it would just be easier to just maybe run it right behind the shock 
um, and along the frame right there because there is a little bit of a gap between the bracket and the frame there. So if I can get the line to uh, lay flush on the frame right here, um, and I will probably uh, secure it somehow with clips or I don't know what, but yet, yet, but I will secure it um, so there won't be any, hopefully won't be any possible way for the shock to interfere with the brake line or not the with the fuel line. Okay, so I'm tired. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of feeding it um, to, through the frame here. Just gonna keep doing that until. Well, that's this. Is, this should be pretty simple, actually. Hopefully. So yeah, we keep working it. Keep uh, fishing her through. So yeah. Okay, so. Decided to run the line through the front and then bend it um, from the fuel pump back to the bend. Decided to bend it from the fuel pump and work it up forwards, I guess, basically. So. All right, so we got a 90 going to the pump. Um, we got it bent to uh, avoid the shackle for the leaf spring and bending it forward as we go. All right, so this has been a pretty simple job so far, honestly. Um, got it bent for the fuel pump and around the uh, shack along the leaf spring. Got it zip tied here temporarily, of course. Uh, just kind of keep it where it needs to be. And then up here, you got it um, going around the frame where it's boxed. Uh, up along it and then it goes up onto the frame. And then I'm gonna 90 it on the firewall and get it to go sort of where I'm gonna Hopefully put the regulator. Uh, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put the regulator at yet because I don't know how much space the motor takes up in the uh, engine bay with the heads and the intake and all that, or with the heads and the valve covers on. So I don't really know where. So I'm just gonna cut off a length, uh, an excess length, and then when I can, when I get the motor in, I can plumb the regulator and all that and figure it out. So, but yeah, I mean, it's basically done, honestly. Um, Got to get some clips for it, some rubber insulation clips, and some rubber hose wherever it hits the frame. Uh, I'm going to put rubber hose around it uh, so it doesn't wear through and cause issues. Because that would not be good, because fuel spilling everywhere is not a good thing. Um, so, yeah, anyways, I'll show you up on the firewall. Okay, so this is where it's coming out on the firewall and the frame. I don't know where the headers are gonna be exactly but I'm thinking a 90 it right here and run it as close as I can to the firewall and up um, this is the tool that I've been using to bend the line um, yeah so I just gotta figure out where I want to bend it now all right back here we are messing with fuel line and an fittings my dad's actually been throwing this together for me, doing the AN stuff while I'm doing the wiring. So huge shout out to him for helping me out. Um, but so we've got coming out of the pump into AN fittings, into braided line, into hard line. So we've got a little bit of flex there is what we're thinking. Um, and then working on fuel cell to the filter right here. And these fittings, these two, well, actually this one as well, um, these are all the ones that came with the tank, so they're cheap Chinese garbage, but whatever. We're making do with what we got for right now, and hopefully it all works. We'll see. But yeah, that's basically the setup right there. Coming out of the Summit pump, which is basically a holly. Um, yeah, man. It's looking tight. Looking real good. And this is a Russell line, so, and these are Russell fittings. Um, these ones are the ch Chinese ones, the 45s and the 90s, what we got going on. Um, but this one is Russell, so that should be a good feeding, fitting, decent fitting. So, yeah, man. Got the thread sealer and the anti seize on a few of them, so yeah. All right, I think that's gonna be all the clips I'm gonna throw in today for this video of doing the fuel. We still have a few things left to do, like hooking up the regulator and plumbing that to the carburetor. There's a few things I want to get done and show you guys first. Um, 
in order to kind of lead up to doing that part. So that will be in the next videos coming out. But I, I also kind of want to keep the videos a little bit shorter, I think. So when I was like originally building the truck, I was jumping around and doing all kinds of different stuff. Uh, at the same time and so I'm trying to compile it together and edit together uh, something that's you know somewhat comprehensive and easy to watch um, and that you know just kind of makes sense all going together let me know your thoughts on uh, the content and what you think of what's going on the, on the channel I'd really love to hear what you're thinking um, and if there's anything that you'd like to see more of if you prefer longer videos shorter videos that type of thing like that's that's what I want to know from you guys um, and I would really appreciate your help on that. So, you know, just kind of let me know what, what you think of what's, what's going on. And that would be awesome, man. That is all we've got for today's video, though. I know it was, like, mind-blowingly exciting. All right, and with that said, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys are awesome, and I love you. We've got a whole bunch of stuff coming up on this channel. So if you are liking what you are seeing and you are not yet subscribed, make sure you go ahead and just click subscribe. Maybe leave a like you know, do the YouTube stuff, and I would greatly appreciate that, and that would mean a lot to me. So, I think with that said, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys and get working on the next video for you. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I really do appreciate you guys watching this stuff, and uh, yeah, I love you. All right. I think that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.